Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. The Australian dollar continues to hold above that 68.55 level after briefly taking a challenge overnight, rebounded. And in light of the pattern, there is some evidence that the market is attempting to recover. And if so, ahead of the US Federal Reserve rate decision, which is expecting anywhere from 50 to 75 base points, could see rather relatively whipsaw price action in the next 12 hours, and therefore could see the market state, still stage a relatively unsettled direction. As long as we maintain, however, above 68.55, then I feel the market should rebound and eventually claim that 69.5 to 70 cent region. The euro at present has posted an inverted hammer, which in some respects it's showing some bullish momentum. And if the market does recover, then we could see a rise back up towards the 105 mid area. And in light of the pattern, keep an eye on this RSI. If it breaks the midway point, we may actually see a further recovery. As long as we maintain above the level of 103, 40, 60 area, then I feel the bulls may eventually retake the challenge. But if we see a 75 base point rate hike and a hawkish statement, then that might see the US dollar rally on beyond 105 and a half to 106, and then therefore put further down pressure on the euro. The dollar yen, well, since the market cleared that 135 level, it's shown some hesitation. And in fact, the market is still showing significant weakness into the European session that may continue on. If so, then we could see a fall back towards the 133 mid level and reassess from there. Since sterling plummeted back towards the 120 area, I feel the market may actually look towards, if we look from the weeklies, well, actually, maybe to the monthlies. I'm looking down from a support area, seeing around 119. And if this market does hold, then I feel we could see a recovery in the short term. <coughs> All eyes on the Bank of England on Thursday to see if they do deliver a 25 or 50 base point rate hike. Sterling Kiwi, the market is holding somewhat bearish outcomes since the outside range day. It still looks towards 191 as a potential target. Since giving up the gains close to that 195.96 area, the market is still holding to a bearish case. There's still a little bit of pressure coming back into gold as it recovers and try and attempt to clear that uh, 1820 25 area. I feel the bears are likely to jump on this market and still look down towards 1788 to 90 as a potential target and finishing up with all as you can see the market did post a very erratic price action overnight and still holds above the level of 115.30 if we see a significant break there then i am looking down towards this re-challenge of around that 109 area well that wraps it for today thank you very much for joining me and as always look out for the interest report hope you enjoyed the rest of the